Hello everyone, I am Bolt Matrix, and today we are taking a look at Transformers Rise of the Beasts, Battle Changers Rhinox, and Battle Changers Flex Change Cheetor. I picked up both of these figures at my local Walmart. Rhinox is the more traditional Transformer of the two, and it is molded in poop brown and gray with nice green eyes and some silver there on the cheeks and the horn. The Rhino mode works well, and I think it looks pretty good. It's just big enough for a core class figure to ride in. See what I tell you? Yep, Freezer can ride him with no problems whatsoever. Except Freezer sucks and doesn't hold a pose. Get off of him. Cheetor, on the other hand, looks like a very well-fed kitty. Not fat shaming, just... This is a chunky cheetah. And, yeah, it's got spots going up on the head and on the back, and then it's got this weird off bluish gray for different bits, and then it's got a gun sticking out of his tail for some reason. Yeah. It's also big enough so that somebody can ride him. See? what I tell you? Now the transformation for these two couldn't be more different. One is a more traditional transformation, and the other one is definitely not. So we'll start off with Rhinox first, because, well, it's an actual transformer. So reach underneath the front and then flip out the chain gun for the one arm and reach in the other arm and flip out a fist. Take the rear legs and push them up into the body then come to the back behind the front legs and unpeg the entire leg sections and fold them down and then flip the legs down or the beast legs down again or you could just flip it up. Con collapse the chest, or I'm sorry, collapse the chest into the hips, and then turn the figure around and grab the top of the rhino and just flip it onto the backpack, and you're done. That's it. So you can put the arms down if you want, and this rhinox works okay. Oh, yeah, they're, the pegs you see here hanging off the bottom of the rhino are supposed to peg in to the back behind the shoulders, but I... I, there's like a joint missing on mine. I don't know what's going on, but I could get it down a little bit on one side. Okay, yeah, that fixed it. Brute force is the one is the way to do it. Okay, that looks better. Yeah, Rhinox is all right. From the feet to the crotch, it's all brown, and then we've got gray and gold and bright red eyes. I don't remember his eyes ever being red. I thought they were green. Anyway, it works pretty well as a little Rhinox toy. Arms are opposable because of ball joints, and they actually have a pretty okay range of motion. Legs are on ball joints as well, but they've got knees for the, he's got knees for the transformation, but yeah, they're kind of pointless. And then the chain gun spins. Neat. It's a fun little figure. I like it. It's fun. Now, what is weird is Cheetor. So come to the back and split the rear legs apart to unpeg the rear legs from the tail. Then grab the center and push your finger into it to push the two center bits apart. And then take the entire rear section and flip it up and then flip it out or like flay out the back and get the tail up over the head and then flip that around and peg it into the crotch there at the, well, what was the front of the cheetah mode. Fold down the front legs, fold up the bottom legs, and that's it. That's Cheetah Flex Change. That's a Cheetah Flex Change? Cheetor. Flex Change Cheetor, to be exact. And there's nothing you could do with the figure at this point. Cheetor has zero posability in robot mode, not that he had much in beast mode, and the overall aesthetic works, but his arms are pushed all the way back, and he's leaning forward and, I guess, growling? I guess that works. Head sculpt's actually pretty good. I like this head sculpt. It works very well. I don't want to poo-poo on either of these figures because I am not the core demographic for these toys. These are meant for kids. I, if, if I was a child who was into Transformers, I would much more appreciate the Rhinox than the Cheetor. Because the Cheetor, once you get it in robot mode, you can't do anything with it. It just stands there and that's it. Now, I do want to talk to you about this flex part. These blue pieces, they're not rubber. This is hard plastic. Like, these are plastic. Hard, but very flexible, as you saw. And even in the legs, you could see, 
Oh, maybe you can't. Hold on, let me get a light in there. I'm not sure how well that's showing up on camera, but the connector that holds the legs onto the body is also hard plastic. You can see it in there, and you can actually feel it if you um, get your finger in there. It's interesting technology. I don't think it's executed all that well here. And to be honest, transformation's a pain. It's not that much fun, especially for someone with big old ham hands like myself. In terms of size, Deluxe Legacy Kickback, Forager Legacy Tarn, Generation Selects Magnificus, Studio Series Italian Stereotype, and Studio Series 100 Bumblebee. Yeah, so they do kind of scale both to current Deluxe class figures. Overall, I don't dislike either of them, but they're not my favorite. I think that's painfully clear. And they're obviously, as I said, they're not for me. They're not for the 40-some-year-old fan. They're for kids. They're for young children. And that's fine. Uh, not everything is going to be for the old people. So, yeah, that's that's absolutely fine. Uh, the transformation for Cheetor, a bit of a pain, as I said. It, I don't like the transformation. It's doable, but it is a bit of a pain. I prefer Rhinox because it feels more like a Transformer to me, or more of a traditional Transformer to me, than what Cheetor is attempting. I'm not saying that Cheetor is bad, it's just different in a way that I'm not real fond of. Let's put it that way. So, uh, But of course, on camera, I am struggling with transforming Rhinox. <laughs> oh, the irony. For Rhinox to get him back into beast mode, the trick is to push the back legs through and flip them out before you fold the, the big robot legs over. This has been my look at Cheetor and Rhinox from the Transformers Rise of the Beasts Battle Changer line. Let me know what you think of these figures down in the comment. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new reviews. As always, I have been Bolt Matrix, and I will catch you all next time.